my the cover for my little hinge journal is dry and while it was drying I pulled out some of my Christmas images and I ended up deciding that I'm going to make it more of a vintage feel. Uh, this one here I think might be a bit too bright or maybe I'll just have a look. This is um, a Cartabella ephemera pack. There might be a couple of little things that I could use in here like some banners um, something that's not too bright, maybe that one there. Candy cane, Noel. Um, I like that one too. So what I also done was I went round the edges of my pages with some uh, vintage sepia ink just to just to give them a bit of a a distressed look so I've got some out of that one there um, I've got a scrap of paper from one of my other projects I think that was from Auntie Vera but I've, I've also oh, blah 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 but I've also got this Kayser Craft uh, December 25th collection which when I seen this I thought okay it's going to be vintage styled Christmas because I just love this and that's the back of it there it's just got the plain colours on it Merry Christmas the 25th and some mistletoe but I really I've been hoarding this and I think now I've got to just use it I've got to start using it so I've got that and I just pulled out this. It's got a few little sayings on it that I might be able to use. So I'll put that over there. Um, I also found this sheet of paper which is an Echo Park and it's the Comfort and Joy which I think, okay, that's, you know, keeping in with some vintage colours. And I went through just my image papers and I found this, it's, um, it's from a children's nursery rhyme book or something, but I've only got up to the 10th day of Christmas, but I thought um, maybe just some of these little images might look okay like the first day of Christmas the doves the second two turtle doves partridge in a pear tree is the first day <laughs> and the rings on the fifth day so I thought I might be able to use some of those as well those images so I'll just put some of this over to the side and then I found this from last Christmas which was another sheet of paper that I might be able to somehow incorporate in, decorate the journal with. And then this Christmas saying, Christmas is not a time nor a season but a state of mind. To cherish peace and goodwill, to be plenteous in mercy is to have the real spirit of Christmas. Calvin Coolidge. Plenteous. Well, that's nice too, isn't it? I like that. Okay, so I've got a few things here. And these are ephemera. This is the Echo Park, which I'm not sure if there'd be anything in here that I could use. I'll just have a quick look. Um, oh, that might be all right. Deck the halls. Oh, I like the snowman. Be merry. Um, tis the season okay well there's a few in here I could use little candy cane maybe I'll put that one up there official Christmas delivery okay so there is a few of this one that I can use it's 
one's Happy Holidays. Holiday Baking Team. Oh, Dasher Dancer, that's the, the Reindeers. Christmas Day. Good Tidings and Comfort and Joy. Holidays. Okay, so I've got a few out of that one. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Alright, so I'll put those ones back in there. I might end up mixing them up, but that's okay. I'll just put those back in. Pull the few out of there. And there's a few in the Cardabella ones I can use, but I'm not sure about this one here. Um, this is another Cardabella, but I don't want them blue. That one would be okay. Merry Christmas. Merry and bright. That would be okay. I don't really want to use that bluish colour for you. I don't really want to use the that the light blue colour in there. There's always room for everyone on Santa's nice list. That looks alright. Little tag. Oh, that's nice. That could have come out of another one, I think. A little toy truck. Another little tag. Okay, well, I think I might have enough now to decorate it. There's an old style toy. Little jack in a box. Okay, so I think that's about it for the time being. If I need any more, I know where to... Oh, what's that one? Presents, and I like that one. I know where to... Um, to come if I need any more but I think I've got enough here at the moment okay just a quick look in this one or did I already look at that no I haven't looked at this one okay so this has got quite a few I'm thinking about this colour here for vintage so to and from that's nice Merry Christmas farm fresh cat Cut and carry. Yep, not sure about that one. Mary, it yep, may be deck the halls, meet me under the mistletoe. There's a Santa tag. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Not sure if that belongs in there, but that's okay. And that one. So there's a few out of this one here that I can use that is a little bit more vintage tones. Okay, so I'm not sure about that one. Got a few more little banners there. And a little heart. So is that all that's in there? Yep. So I might just put those... It's the most wonderful time of the year, maybe, I don't know. Oh, it is, but I'm just thinking maybe for the picture, I'm not sure yet. Okay, and then I also found a paper that I did have ripped. Um, maybe it was for a project last year, I'm not really sure, because I don't remember doing it. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I've got all these, and just get rid of these bits of paper here that I used for my um, my hinges. So that needs to go in a box just down there. All right, so I'm going to start to decorate couple of little banners and I do like this image but I'm not sure if I could use it anywhere on here 
Um, see, maybe that would look nice right there. So then the tie would have to come out to that front page more, which I think would be fine. So does that fit on there? It does fit on there too. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so just get some I'm going to use some of this art glitter glue because I really am liking this at the moment. Um, Alright, so do I want anything else on there first? I'm just thinking I can still see bits of the calico underneath, maybe something up in the corner, up the top here, like a, I don't know, maybe Merry Christmas, maybe cut that down, is there anything else? Just have a quick look. Christmas Day, nope. Dash of Dancer, not Happy Holidays. To me it's Merry Christmas and will always be Merry Christmas. But that one there, Tis the Season, nope. Be Merry, Deck the Halls. And I'll just have another quick look over here because I can't really remember everything that was there. Peace. That's nice. Hmm. Like the little piece. What's this one say? Bundle up. See, we don't bundle up here in Australia. <laughs> we strip down. Um, it's not a winter wonderland. It is very hot here, usually on Christmas Day. Meet me under the mistletoe. Deck the halls. Mary. Christmas trees. Okay, so what I'm thinking, there's nothing else I can really use there. Um, and I can use that for something else. So what I'm what I might do is actually just trim this up, like cut it around here, use the Merry Christmas. So, alright, so I've trimmed that up around there and left a little bit of the of that on there. So maybe that could go on the front. Mm. See, I'm not sure now. Maybe if I put something underneath that. I've got some cheesecloth because I do like my cheesecloth. Yep, why not? Okay, I'm going to ink that up. Just to darken that up a little bit. And same with the cheesecloth. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there. A bit of glue on that. And that can sit right about there. So we get to see a little bit of that. Oh, I should have put some more glue on this here. So that doesn't rip up. Yep, that's good. Okay, so that's better. I've got that glued down. And I'm just going to pull a bit of that off. There 
and that can go on there. So got a bit of that on. Okay, and the Merry Christmas just there, but I pulled the cheesecloth up just a bit too far. Okay, just so we've got a little bit hanging out the bottom there, that'll be fine. Okay. <coughs> So it might be a good idea if I put my light on. Is that any brighter? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the front. Now we've got this page here. Now what I also should have done was grab some coffee dyed papers, which I did have. Yep, right beside me, okay. Just so that I can... <clears throat> just add a little bit of coffee dyeing, coffee dyed papers just over some of these pages just to make like a, um, a journaling spot. So like that there. We'll go to about there. Okay, so this I'm just going to use the glue for that. Um, but I will ink around the edges. And then just find a little image to go somewhere on the side of it. just want to cover up most of that writing. My blue. Try again. Okay, and let's see. Got um, a little snowman, or maybe a little <coughs> candy cane just down in this corner. Put a bit of glue. Just going to put that down there. Now over here, I think I'd like a little pocket. Now, um, something to make a little pocket out of, and maybe use, um, you know, like something like this. And you can have like a little tag in there. That'd be all right. Okay, so I will ink up this edge though. <coughs> and have the mistletoe up in that corner. And just go down the sides with the glue and make a little pocket out of this one. Um, don't think I want that much glue on there. Alright, so we'll put that just about there.
and now we'd need a little tag. Is that too wide? Let me see. Oh no, look, that fits in there perfect. Little Seasons Greetings tag. We'll ink the edge. Okay, so we'll have a little tag there. And I did, what did I do with that little bit of leftover here? I could use that on my, mm -hmm. use it as a, a tie on my tag. But that's okay. All right, I'm not going to put that in the pocket at the moment because I don't want it to get stuck in there. I'll just let that glue dry. Okay, so there's my first page decorated. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, for this one, um, got a nice reindeer. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should grab, you know what, I'm going to go down to these pages here first. Right, just going to open up there because I've got this Christmas tree on the napkin and I just love it I just think that is absolutely gorgeous so what I was thinking maybe putting that just right there I do like that okay so um, I'm thinking whether I want to use the Mod Podge or just the glue stick on it. Maybe just the glue stick, I think. And have a like a whip around the edges. So, um, if I put it down the bottom... I could always like draw a, f a line up there around the star. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just make sure I've only got one layer left on that because that still feels a little bit thick. No, that's one layer. Okay, so put that there. And I'll do half, like do half the page with the glue first. Oops. And just want to line up my Merry Christmas. There we go. And press that on gently, gently, gently. Okay, and then continue up here. Press that up gently, gently so I don't rip it. Okay, and that's it. So I'm just going to let that dry a little, maybe a bit more glue over here if I can. If I can, I don't know if I can. Um, I'm just going to let that dry a little before I rip the around the edges. Okay. All right. So that's pressed on pretty cool. And I'm just going to actually like rip the rip around the edges when it's dry, but I'm not going to do it until it's actually dry. Okay. Alright, so that needs to dry. 
and um, I do want some other papers to kind of like cover up a little bit. Uh, I do like that. Okay, let's. Um, not sure if that's going to be a bit too thick. So I shall rip there. Okay, there. And. Strip down here a bit. Okay, and go around those edges. Okay. And I do like that on there. That looks pretty cool. So with this one, I think I might just grab some double-sided tape. So I'm just going to put the tape around all sides. And just a bit of this glue on the inside there which I should have pulled the paper off first but that's okay <laughs> if I don't do something back to front it's just not me right three four right now just to give that another run over with that Okay, and put that on here, which looks pretty good. Okay, so that's that page there. Alright, now this, um, this has actually got lines on it as well, so you can use this page here for a journaling spot. And maybe and maybe this side here um, as a pocket and journaling spot. So just rip that one. Looks straight enough down there. Okay, so that's going to go there. I'll link that edge. And this one's just going to have it around three sides down there and there but I just I wanted to try to cover up some of that so I'm going to push it over a little bit Straighten that out. Okay, that looks good. So that's going to be a pocket there. And maybe something else. Winter Wonderland. Um, meet me under the mistletoe. What else have I got? Uh, 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 uh. 
No, not that one. Just a small saying, Noel, deck the halls, lid on my glue. <laughs> um, Christmas Day. Have a holly jolly Christmas. No. Mm, that one's rather nice. Tis the season. Okay, I like that one. Happy holidays. Okay, alright, so I like that one. We, I shall ink this one up. And just before I put that one on, I'm going to grab a couple of my brads. Um, oh, I thought I had red brads, but I don't. I've got red eyelets. Okay, so, hmm. All right. Not thinking properly then. But, let me see. I've got some silver ones. They'll do. They shall do me just to add another little dimension to that. And it's going to be down the bottom. I'm going to put this down the bottom so it's not going to be that noticeable. Put this on it. Just grab my pokey tool that I've stuck glue all over the end of. Okay, and just poke a little hole here, right there, and right there. And we'll put in a couple of little brads, if they go in, there we go. Pull them out. So we've got that one there, and I'm just going to take this one out because I don't know why that's all bent and it seems to be just too long for what I want to put in there. Okay, so there, it is the season. So I'm just going to glue that straight down there now. Yep, I like that. Take my lid off that and put the lid back on that before I throw them everywhere. <coughs> okay, and we'll just centre that up down the bottom. Oh, I like that. Tis the season. So I just have to make a little card that pops in there. I'm just going to hold that down for a bit. Okay, so, so far I have put the front on with the Merry Christmas and a couple of those threads just need to be cut off, which I thought I'd done before, but I didn't. Okay. Alright, that's it. Just as long as there's a little bit there. So I've done the front there. And done this inside page. That should be dry enough to hold the tag. I've just got to find a bit of ribbon for that one. And then there's like a little journaling spot, candy cane. Then I jumped over to this page here, 
which actually should be dry enough for me to rip now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to rip down the edges. Don't rip Merry Christmas off. Oh good. Well done. That worked out well. And rip around this one. Don't rip Merry Christmas off. Oh, not even anywhere near Merry Christmas. Maybe this one will be. Okay. So, a little rippy rip. And I think maybe... All right, a bit more rippy here. Because I'm just ripping off where there was no glue. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so there's a Merry Christmas. And, hmm. Oh, and then this one here. So that's like a full page um, journaling spot with one here. And maybe a... The reindeer card, no. I shall find a oh, Christmas wish list. No, I'll make one to go in there, I think. Okay, so that's it so far, guys. And I'm actually going to stop now because I'm getting a little bit tired, which has been happening a lot lately. And I shall be back on for a next part on decorating my... Um, hinged Christmas journal. Find something nice and bright to go on this page. Maybe the Christmas wish list here. That'd be nice. <laughs> now I've started decorating again after I've said that I need to... Um, I need to go and have a rest. I really do. Be merry. Okay, I shall be back, guys.